Welcome back to The Breakfast Show. Yes, next month, one man will put his body and mind to the test when he runs 100 kilometers for charity. It will also mark the start of the Extra Mile Day, which hopes to become an annual event during which people go to the Extra Mile to help the less fortunate. Mm -hmm. And joining us this morning to tell us more is the runner in question, Alex Al Yong, and event organizers Sanjeev Kumar from Road Track Subang and Jonathan Raja from the Start Society. Yes. Welcome to the show, Good gentlemen. morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, first off, tell us a little bit about the Extra Mile Day. What is it about? Mm. Mm. All right, Madal, I'll start. Yeah, Alex. Um, start with the thought of how the extra mile came about. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I work as an art director mm. um, and uh, the thought of how I could give more was... Uh, that's where it all started, mm. the extra mile, going the extra mile. Yeah, we always say it, we always say yeah, it. Yeah, go for the extra it. mile. Um, uh, th there is this passage that says, uh, if, you want, if somebody asks you to go one mile, mm. go with him a second. Mm. And I came, with this, came up with this idea of uh, being able to share, uh, use my talents mm. as an art director uh, to teach kids. Mm. So that is underprivileged kids. So that's mm -hmm. my extra mile okay. and how uh, I run. But now I'm running to raise up funds for charity. Oh, okay. So I'm raising up funds for a start society. Right. Um, uh, what, what, what they do is it's an organization that uh, brings underprivileged children um, to their place. They've got about nine to 12 um, uh, homes. centers, homes that they, they bring to this place. Mm -hmm. They teach art, they teach uh, drama, mm -hmm. dance. Uh, I teach art, you okay, know, and, yeah. uh, just to be able to empower them. And uh, so that, that, that's the whole idea of the extra mile. Right. And, and uh, maybe, uh, Jonathan, Jonathan, you can tell us a little bit about, you know, when Alex had the idea, what, what do you think of it? Yes, uh, he, he, the thing is, he committed himself for the kids, right, you know, and right. he, he went for, he will like, he comes there, teach children, and mm. he doesn't only teach, he get along with the children, you right. know. He, he mixes ideas with the children, he does not just give the worst, but he gives out of himself. And right. I've, I personally sat and talked to him also, mm. and, and he's, he's very committed to the kids, yeah. And I think we are lucky to have him also. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> and uh, Sanjeev, how did the Rotrack Club get involved? Rotrack has been working with staff, um, society for a couple of years, mm. a year plus. So we, we like start society because Mm. They do arts, music, dramas. A lot of homes don't do this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's it's a very good thing that Road Track goes in, and we see the volunteers, the teachers are very very passionate. Mm. So that that's why we like working with Start from the, uh, Society. Mm. And then when Alex committed that, okay, he wanted to run the hundred km. So if Alex is donating his legs for the run, Road Tracks will co commit our resources, our skills in organizing the whole event. So that is how we started talking, and then we decided that. Okay, let's do this extra mile run where Alex will run the extra mile we will do more than what we usually do and hopefully the public will do their mm. we'll mm. go the extra miles to do their but, yeah. yeah but Alex you know how did you decide how do you come to the conclusion that a hundred kilometers is because you know really yeah. that's more than a yeah, one extra mile yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know when we say um, extra mile you don't mean like you know exponentially to a hundred okay. but um, two years ago what I did was I, I did a run uh -huh. uh, 84 km run and what I did was I did the same thing. I, I um, raised up funds. That then was uh, I just spread the word around mm. to Twitter, Facebook, yeah. and I just shared it with different ones. I had a blog. I just mm. shared about my preparation. I told them, um, if you believe for what I'm doing, uh, mm. would you pledge? And uh, that's what I did. I, I just pledged. Um, I gave. Uh, uh, basically, I ran. And, and after I did that, I told myself actually, I don't do any more 84 km runs and all right. that. Uh, I realized that uh, I've been gifted with this ability to mm. run uh, right. longer distance. Yeah. So to go a bit more, I think that's my extra mile. Say I see. And say so use your own benchmark and say, okay, this is my extra mile because you've done 84.